Hi, my name is Sam Irvin. I'm the director of Dante's Cove, seasons one, two, and three. It's a series that was always really, really dear to my heart because it combined elements of one of my childhood favorite soaps, Dark Shadows, and the sort of LGBT shows such as Queer as Folk. It was really a cross between those, and it brought a popcorn sensibility to a genre that we hadn't seen before. Welcome to the Hotel Dante. You made the history of this place. A lot of what was supposed to have happened here had elements of ritual sacrifice and sexuality. So many LGBT projects had a lot of political statements that they were trying to make, and this was something that was going to be pure entertainment. And that's what excited me about doing the show in the first place, and I think that we accomplished that. It's this place is haunted. Right. You kind of left that part out when you convinced me to move in with you. Well, I didn't believe it at first, but I'm kind of starting to. When Dante's Cove started airing, I was amazed at the response. There was just, social media blew up. I started getting emails and all kinds of comments from fans who just absolutely ate up the show, just loved it. It was really kind of an exciting thing to see the fan base growing and to find how much they were loving the show and how much they were into it. You can trust me. You really can. Not now, man. One of the things that I tried to do a lot in Dante's Cove was to reference other films. And one of them, for instance, is From Here to Eternity with Burt Lancaster and Deborah Carr on the beach, making out with the water coming in and everything. There are moments like that where I just found it to be incredibly romantic and beautiful and we wanted to sort of recreate that. We discovered some incredible talent in the first seasons of Dante's Cove, including Stephen Amell, who went on to a huge career as the star of Arrow. We also had Boo Boo Stewart, who went on to be one of the werewolf family in the Twilight movies, and also was in one of the X-Men films. And there was also Aaron Cummings, who played Michelle, who went on to star in Astronaut's Wives. In Dante's Cove, The Next Generation, we have put together a cast that you are going to fall in love with, and they're going to all become stars, too. Hi, my name is Stephanie Arzilla, and I'm so excited because I'm playing Jackie in Dante's Cove, The Next Generation. Hi, my name is Jacob Tasher, and I'm going to be playing Antonio. Hi, I'm Grafton Doyle, and I'm playing the role of Steven. I'm Taylor Barrett, and I'm playing Beck. Hey, I'm Paul Wolfolk, playing Luke. Hi, my name is Harji Gunn, and I am playing the role of Chase. Hey, guys, I'm Xavier Vila, and I'm playing the role of Herman in Dante's Cove, The Next Generation. I come from doing telenovelas in Miami and Colombia. Born and raised in Southern California. I'm from Indiana, but luckily I'm very, very close to the Chicago border, so I like to claim that I'm from Chicago, but I'm not. I love Armand because of his mystery. Beck is a cool lesbian. Uh, <laughs> she's kind of like the mother hen for all the friends. What I love about Dante's Cove is the mystery, the romance, the witchcraft, it's, uh, it's an exciting thriller at times, but also a really, really soulful piece. What I love about Dante's Cove is a sexy cast. Dante's Cove The Next Generation is going to continue all of the elements that you loved and adored of the original Dante's Cove. Our cast of characters, you're gonna fall in love with them. They are unbelievable. The storylines that we've come up with, I'm so excited, I can't wait for you to get involved in that. And rest assured that all of this is going to tie in beautifully with the original Dante's Cove storylines. You're going to find out the origins of treason, the whole shebang. It's all part of the master plan. Dante's Cove, the next generation! Come join the fun! You've heard it all, and now you get to jump in and join us. Not only will you be a contributor, but you can also be a part of making Dante's Cove the next generation. 
Pledge just $10 and you'll receive an advanced copy of the script for the entire new season. Pledge $100 and you'll get access to all four seasons of Dante's Cove and a one-of-a-kind magic ball of treason. You could even go up to $10,000 and be an executive producer of the series. Check out all of the levels of participation, including walking the red carpet, lunching with the cast, naming a character, attending a casting session, and even being in the show. Go to our Kickstarter page and decide what you want to do. So we've listened to you and know you want more. We're inviting you, the fans, to join the fun and participate in Dante's Cove, The Next Generation. Come be a part of the adventure. Join us! <laughs>